Uh, welcome to Microsoft Azure session. Topic is uh, virtual machine. So how we need to implement virtual machine in Azure, we are going to learn it. Agenda of this module is we are going to understand what is the overview of Azure virtual machines, how we can plan these Azure virtual machines, how we can deploy these Azure virtual machines, and how we need to manage resource manager templates. If you talk about the Azure virtual machine, the Azure virtual machine is nothing but one of the virtual machine which is hosted on your hypervisor. Uh, something like Hyper-V, ESX, Citrix N. So if you need to understand what is this uh, virtual machine, what happened, assume this is your physical box where you have uh, some CPU, which is your bare metal hardware, CPU and memory. Then what we need to do, we create a virtual instances on uh, this uh, physical box probably some and these all virtual machines actually uh, going to use your hardware's processor and memory which is actually a shared among all these virtual machines the Azure, um, Azure Resource Manager actually includes your compute, network, and storage capabilities. And we use this Azure Resource Manager to administer these all IS resources within Microsoft Azure environment. We can also use, uh, or you can say that we can implement virtual machines using various methods. Probably we can access the portal, Azure portal, or resource manager template, command line interface, or PowerShell. So using all these different methodologies, we can actually access the, or we can interact with the Azure to create a virtual machines. Using this uh, virtual machine, uh, we can attach storage and network resources or we can implement a role um, you can say RBSE role based access control to fine grain the control over access to virtual machines who can administrator it who can manage it if you look here we have a virtual machine this virtual machine have a connected with one of the storage volume it is also accessed by your it have of some uh, virtual ip address and may be hosted in one of the virtual subnet so this virtual machine which is we are discussing it here probably have configured in one of the physical machine which is managed by the azure We can, uh, when we implement uh, the Azure, now the question comes in why we are actually using the Azure uh, virtual machine uh, when you already have a infrastructure in place for the in-premises data center. Why we are using this Azure machine? So we need, we can have a number of uh, reasons or provide a wide variety of purpose and functionality in Azure uh, due to which we are supposed to use this Azure. So if you look for the suitable workloads uh, for virtual machines, if we may use uh, different types of workloads are better fit for hosting in Azure environment. So once we're using Azure, probably some are suitable workload and some are not. So let's discuss about which are suitable one. Uh, something like highly available service workloads such as online stores. Uh, the, these online stores, 
uh, required to be up and must be available all the time so there's no impact to their services and user can access this online store 24 into 7 probably with uh, from different geographies or region in case this Azure or uh, this store is not available probably they will impact their businesses in terms of the dollar we can also use this as uh, azure for a periodic workload such as uh, uh, complex data analysis or uh, seasonal marketing campaign or maybe during a festival holidays when you have a, a spike in your uh, or you have a your workload gets high or during this period we can also use uh, azure for unpredictable growth workload such uh, uh, probably you can say that which may be uh, some small organization uh, which rapidly expanded or grow uh, which you are earlier not predicted one or you can say that we have some steady workload where organizations simply want to offload their infrastructure to the cloud in such a cases this is a we can use the azure virtual machines and this is uh, best suited to move from your uh, in premises to your azure environment there are few unsuitable workload environments also where we don't recommend to move to your azure from your in premises something like uh, where you have a low volume or limited growth workloads and which is less expensive than moving to the azure probably in such a cases if you move from your uh, in premises to azure you may end up uh, you may pay higher dollar in terms of what you're paying currently another environment which is very important where you may cannot you may or you can't move to the azure which is related to the regulated environment where the local government might regulate the type of the data which you can uh, which cannot cross the country or which cannot be uh, with respect to your boundary or which have a, some compliance requirement we should not go to the azure environment remember when uh, you're choosing a virtual machine or azure machines to move your in-premises data we can also look some past solution Once you're moving to an Azure cloud, you can also look for an opportunity. What are the different path solution is already available, which we can use it instead of going to the virtual machine. Uh, one of the example, maybe uh, uh, you want to build a Windows server with IS. So cannot we use the Azure web, web app service instead of uh, Windows with IS, which may give me a better solution and uh, better manageability in terms of the solution we can also look uh, some other consideration are like sql service uh, server with azure sql database active um, uh, directory domain services versus your uh, ad domain services or dns server versus azure dns when you're choosing the Azure, you can also look for the software support. You need to ensure that all licenses, maybe a Microsoft or a others one, which you are going to install in your Azure virtual machine, have a proper licenses. So all the product, maybe a software, which you are going to use in your Azure environment, must have a licenses. But please remember by default azure virtual machine include a license that allow you to use windows server in azure environment additionally certain azure virtual machine also include licenses for additional microsoft software or other uh, software on per hour or evaluation basis you may opt you must obtain i can say that you must obtain licenses for other software separately but ensure that all the environment which you are using 
must be properly licensed. Was you, uh, Microsoft Azure Virtual Machine offered you a different options or sizing of this virtual machine which you can choose based on your requirement so assume something like you are uh, assume you uh, you want to build a this one um, server maybe with uh, one cpu and one memory probably other server which may be a uh, two processor and two c uh, two gb memory and another server maybe which can be have a 4 GB process memory and 4 GB 4 GB memory and 4 processor so you can choose these machines based on your business requirement and what are your uh, application requirement to to uh, run smoothly where user can get a best response time so these all are different off offerings by the Azure and you can choose based on your requirement these Azure machine are offered in probably uh, different groups uh, different sizes based on your compute resources uh, few are like a type of series or D series G series or other one if I look for the a series it is a virtual machine for simple production workloads and remember this a series are not memory intensive another type is d series they are basically have a faster processor and solid state drive and it is best suited for the application which required a higher performance another one is g series it is basically a, one of the highest level of compute resources in azure and it is for the heavy workloads the ds and gs series our machine are for the premium storage in azure especially remember when you're choosing this vms it is based and every vm have a different pricing so you can choose this vm based on the pricing and uh, whatever the configuration required which is best suited for your application a1 is the smallest size that we offered for in production workload you can also use a cost estimator tool to know what are the different machines cost me if i can use it and what type of what if i can add additional uh, volumes and then what is my final cost of this tool uh, uh, for that particular virtual machines so let's look into the log into the azure portal and see what are the different offerings now i log into the azure portal if you look this azure portal we have a different offerings on the left side let's see connect to the virtual machine and once we create a virtual machine it can offer me the different options so i creating a virtual machine let's select add now it offer you all the different images which we can select for one of uh, which we need to install on my virtual machine select one of it i'll uh, select windows now this windows shows you all the different operating systems i selected the windows 2016 data center and then you can create it once you create it it will ask you for the name of the machine say first vm type of the disk you can select say and user uh, one for your organization password i can give whatever you can select either the free tire or the visual enterprise because we are using the free tire or visual studio enterprise one you should create a new resource group okay okay now in this screen you can see you are get uh, this offer you the different 
virtual machine which you can choose so if i go uh, all the different machine which is here i can select it whatever is required for my business requirement if you look for a few machines like the different offering if you look what everyone is showing you a per month cost also something like these machines i should select the one which is lowest one probably look for this particular machine this is b1s standard which is coming with one processor with 1 gb and the monthly cost will be 295 rupees uh, 05 paisa per month we can select and then we can configure the rest of the things so now you have you were able to now you seen the different machine types a part of this we can also use the pricing calculator if you see we have opened a pricing calculator this pricing calculator gives you all the details i selected the virtual machines in here virtual machine you can select the different virtual machine and you can see the pricing with respect to the r so all the different machines are here they look for a01 this was offered me a 0.75 gb ram with 20 gb uh, temporary storage with one core processor and cost me 1.322 rupees per hour which is a 983.51 paisa in a month if i want to add uh, some uh, storage space also let's say uh, i want to add uh, some storage space what is my final pricing assume i want to add some 32 gb in this instance to the one disk i want to add my my per month cost for this disk will be 101 rupees 2 paisa and my final pricing becomes 10854 so this is the way you can cal you can use a price calculator to know what is your uh, a billing for the particular is using the instances or the different type of the storage space you can select any different uh, type of the storage based on your requirement thank you i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat